So last week, we got BMW Drive 0.25, which gave us the first modern supercar in the game. The thing is awesome, and I already made a video on the update. But unfortunately, this car isn't perfect. You see, it has a deal-breaking issue of truly massive proportions. It's just not fast enough. You know what else is truly of massive proportions? Your mum, if you're not subscribed. I mean, guys, look at this. Che schifo. Già che ci siete, subscribe to Mui Eclipse as well. The Scintilla comes in a variety of different configurations. And when I saw that there was one specifically made for top speed that had its own dedicated driving mode with increased power, lowered suspension, and less drag, I was like, Figa, this shit must be quick. I was properly disappointed. All that hype, all that build up, just to be beaten by cheese. Well, in this video, we're going to be fixing that problem, and we're going to be doing it three different times. First, realistic tune. Second, brain car. And third, what? In the actual f But before doing that, I want to actually show you how utterly shit the default top speed configuration actually is. So this is the vehicular device in question, and as you can see, it looks pretty darn good. But the positives end there. So as per tradition before any top speed run, let's eat it off the pyramid. Excellent. And with that done, we can begin with a first run. So don't get me wrong, this is by no means a slow car. As you can see at the bottom left, there's all the engine stats for you nerds out there. But up at the top, there's the most important metric, the airspeed. But yeah, we are going not so quick now. And yes, with 800 horsepower and 1525 kilograms, this is what you get. 385 kilometers per hour. I'll give it this though, it's really stable at high speeds, which is something I can't say for the coming configurations. Oh, and this is what it would look like if you were standing next to it. People, if you are also disappointed by the default top speed configuration, you're in for a treat. This is the improved top speed version created by none other than the world record holder for the most flips with the Ibishu Pigeon. Me. I combined high quality engine parts, bigger turbos, and better radiators to reach 1400 horsepower, almost double what the original has. And somehow, I also managed to make it lighter, even after adding four wheel drive. Devs, what the fuck? Anyways, run with my configuration, which by the way, you can actually find in my Discord server, pinned in the BMG channel. But anyways, let us go. Oh my... <laughs> so this thing is kind of slow off the line, but once it gets going, boy does it charge. Look at that. Already beaten the previous one. Already at 430. Can we get to 450? Come on, yes. Well, as you can see, guys, the answer is always more power. And this is what it would look like if it were passing by. But this is where it gets interesting. I have removed any kind of weight I could. For example, look at the seats. But believe it or not, this doesn't even come close to the most questionable weight savings I've made. For example, the shifter knob, the pedal heads. <clears throat> Fuck's going on with my voice? Oi! I removed the whole fucking car from the car. But it gets even worse. You see, to save the maximum amount of weight possible, I've removed the brake. This car will be the last car you'll ever drive. Anyways, let us turn it on and let us go. This happens sometimes, and we're off. So the gear ratios are really, really weird. This is first gear. <laughs> oh, I love this thing. 
So we actually got it only 300 kilograms lighter from the previous one. But we have even more power this time. To be exact, 1700 horsepower. But we also have NOS, which takes us up to 2400 horsepower. Yeah, it kind of wants to turn. And you know what? NOS moment. Come on. Uh, 575. Yeah, this thing is a complete beast. And you know what? I'm actually curious to see how quick it is on the quarter mile. We're definitely going to do that later on. And now, people, it is time for the moment you've all been waiting for. The what in the actual f configuration I created. So this is modded, okay, to be clear. And if you want to learn how to do the same thing, I've made a tutorial for it. Anyways, uh, here it is. You may think it looks basically the same as the previous one, but you'd be very wrong. It's a f***ing diesel. Still no brake gang. Kinda cool, man. Kinda cool. Also, as you can see, no radiators. This is the Sigma car. It doesn't need cooling. And yeah, it has just shy of 7,500 horsepower. Yes. So I'm kind of scared because it does tend to explode. But anyways, let us go, I guess. Come on, car. You literally have 7,000 ho- Oh my god, holy shit. <laughs> There you go. You can only hear the turbo, basically. Madonna. 500 kilometers per hour already. 600. Oh, so we got a little excited there. So we're gonna try another run. Madonna. That turbo, man. So 660 kilometers per hour. Can we get more? This is the real question. Oh, we're losing speed, I... Maybe this time we can reach 700 kilometers per hour. A bit more power... It died. I think we have a limited amount of time before it died. Oh no, the fuel depleted! What the fu- Come on! 700! I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Yes! And now, let's do some drag racing. So we're starting off with the original top speed version, the shitty one. We're off. It was a pretty decent launch, come on. Nice. Now it is time for the better top speed version. Oh, what the fuck was that launch? Bruh. Still faster, but that launch was shit. So I figured out how to properly launch it. Ah, oh, fuck. Try again. There you go. This should be quick. Are you fu- Anyways, time for the brain car. Hopefully it doesn't turn off. Oh, we don't have brakes. So you gotta be very careful. I think I'm going way too quick. Maybe reverse? Okay, like I can't stop at the la- Can I- can I- can I stop? Okay, okay. F*** you! No! Vaffanculo, vaffanculo. What? Oh! Oh! <laughs> Was that our engine? 